It is well known by now that Dragon's Dogma 2 has been officially announced by Itzuna and his team. It is not known, however, what it will entail, nor is it known what kind of mechanics it will have. Like Dragon's Dogma 1, I don't doubt that it will be an amazing game with a fantastic setting and downright amazing antagonists like Grigori, with fantastic lore hidden in the game for the player to discover as they begin their journey across the new world that will be in front of them. There are some things, however, that I would want for Capcom to potentially improve upon from Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. One of these are multiple character slots. While I do understand, I think, that one of the reasons they made it so it is only one character slot in Dark Arisen is so they could keep the pawn system more unique and less crowded, and also to prevent at least some players from only hiring their own pawns. It always feels like a drag to have to delete a character when you want to make a new one. I want to be able to keep the character and the story that it's been through with their unique pawn and awesome items that I've been able to find and maybe do a new game plus in the future and also to be able to embark on a new adventure with a new Arisen that plays differently not just mechanically but also lore and story-wise. Multiple character slot would increase replayability and also offer greater variety to the game. The second thing I would like to see in the game is unlimited sprinting or a better stamina system. The stamina and mana system in Dragon's Dogma is great when it comes to fighting, but it's not so great when your ability to do said fighting or to climb a giant enemy to stab them in the eye or to use them for a carousel ride is severely impaired by the fact that you are going to have to traverse a lot of areas and a lot of land. It absolutely sucks that you have no stamina left to fight an enemy or boss just because you had to use it to actually get to them at a somewhat decent speed, whether you're backtracking, farming for an item, or because you die. The third thing I would like to see in Dragon's Dogma 2 is poise, or an actual stability system. I love the combat in Dragon's Dogma. It is smooth, action-packed, and versatile, with a lot of freedom and variety, and few games have ever been able to come close to it when it works. I don't however like that almost anything and everything can knock you down. You are the Arisen, a character that takes up arms against a legendary dragon and fights your way throughout the kingdom, challenging beasts and even make your way to the seat of God through pure grit and determination. You might be sweet, but you're not made out of sugar. Not to mention that it's kind of ridiculous that a fully armored 250 something pound warrior knight can be knocked down by some skimpy harpy or underfed wolf flailing at you. Fourth, I would like to see a larger variety of enemies. Now while I don't doubt that there will be new and awesome creatures for their risen to challenge, I would like to see them incorporate enemies from Dragon's Dome Online. Dragon's Dome Online took what made Dark Arisen unique and built upon it, creating many unique and new, never before seen enemies and bosses that not only had fantastic designs, but also were seriously fun to fight. For number 5, I want lore. There are few things I like more apart from a good pump, make of that what you will, than to learn about the lore of a game as I travel through the world of said game with my character. I love to discover mysteries, previously unknown information, or remnants of old civilizations while slowly uncovering the meaning behind what I find and how it ties into the story. The Dragon's Dogma universe has near infinite potential, not just for amazing story, but also for fantastic lore. Lore so good that it could be the greatest of its time if the right author comes along. And lastly, I want for the wind to be pushing me into the current again, flying into the free. Until next time, Arisen, just let go, like the Dangan. <laughs>